Hello guys! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Jamie Despe and for this vlog, we are going to talk about Microsoft Excel, specifically using Goal Seek. Since I got tons of comments from my past blog, people are requesting for another Microsoft Excel tutorial. So here I am, I'm going to create my second video tutorial of Microsoft Excel. You can also watch my first vlog of Microsoft Excel using VLOOKUP and Fibot. Later on, I'm gonna put the link in the description box below or I'm gonna put the link on the upper right corner of this vlog. But before we proceed with our main tutorial, if you are new to my YouTube channel, don't hesitate to click the subscribe button and click the ring notification bell button so you are updated on my weekly videos and don't forget also to like this video give it a thumbs up and also share this on social media i will be giving three examples three templates for this vlog but before that let us know what is the meaning of goal seek what is really the purpose of goal seek in Excel. They say that goal seek is a process of calculating a value by performing what if analysis on a given set of values. Excel's goal seek features lets you adjust a value used in a formula to achieve a specific goal. Goal seek determines input values needed to achieve a specific goal. We can find the goal seek in our Excel tab by clicking data and then you will click the what if analysis and then there is goal seek. Goal seek has three rows which is set cell to value and by changing cell. You can also use goal seek by clicking alt and plus t and g. We can better understand goal seek if we are going to do some exercises like for this one we have here the sample one. Here in sample one there are four columns First column is for what we call the item 1. Second column is for the item 2. Third column is for the item 3. And the fourth column is the summation of all the 3 items. 67 is the total of 10, 25, and 32. On the definition that I said earlier, it says that goal seek determines input values needed to achieve a specific goal. So in this example, our goal is the main total. If I would like to make this total to 100, I can use goal seek by determining where the change is going to take place. If I would like to change the overall total to 100 by changing item 3, I can do that manually. But if we are going to use Go Seek, here it goes. Alt TG, set cell value E4. So I would like this cell E4 to become 100. I would like to change the total of 67 to 100. But how? What cell am I going to change? For this example, I would like to adjust item 3 cell D4 so I can reach my goal of 100 for E4. If I'm going to click by changing cell D4 and I will click enter or I'm gonna click OK, as you can see, it automatically changes from what I wanted it to be. Target value 100, current value is 100. Okay, as you can see, the value changes. I reach my desired value for this cell by changing item 3. What if I would like to change cell E4 or the overall total by changing all the items, item 1 to 3? Meaning, I would like to change everything from items 1 to 3. I'm going to distribute it here equally so I can change the total value. If that's the case, this is what I mostly do. I multiply every values to that one cell. Now, I would like 
to make this total to 100. I'm going to use Goal Seek, set cell E4, that's the total, to value 100 by changing cell, this yellow cell. Remember that we cannot use a cell for this by changing cell if it has a formula. It should be in value. Remember that I put a formula here in item 1, item 2, item 3, all multiplied to this single cell V7. This is our only value on this sample because everything else on this tabulation from item 1 to total are all with formulas. This B7 is our only value. That's why I'm going to use B7 to reach my goal of 100 total. After that, I'm going to click OK. And as you can see, I already reached my total of 100 and everything else from item 1, item 2, item 3, I distributed an additional 49% for all items 1 to 3. If you're going to look at each cell, the original value still exists in the formula like here in item 1, the original value of 10, in item 2, the original value of 25, and on item 3, the original value of 32, they are all multiplied to 1.492537. That's why I reached my total of 100. Here in our sample 2, this sample 2 is linked in our sample 1, items 1 to 3, and total of 67. In sample 2, we have here this part is from the sample 1. But here in sample 2, I input price for us to calculate the amount for each item with an overall total at the bottom. Another example of goal seek is if, if I would like to change the overall total to 20. 7,000. For example, I would like this to become 27,000. By changing, for example, the price of item number 3. But before that, we must always check if the, the cell that we're going to input in by changing cell in our goal C is in values. As you can see, everything on the column of price, column D, are in values. So this is good. While our quantities were linked in sample 1. The amount is also in formula and also our overall total are also in formula. So the only possible cell to use for us to go see from 14,000 to 27,000 are only these cells. I said earlier that I wanted to reach a total amount of 27,000 by changing the price of item 3. So I'm going to click this cell 14,000 and then I'm going to use goal C. Data, what if analysis and goal C. Set cell. I would like to set cell this one. It's already clicked to value of 27,000 by changing cell so on this part only cells with no formulas should be on this part and I would like to change the value of our total amount by changing the price of item 3 which is okay because this cell D8 which is the price for item 3 is in values. I'm going to click OK. And as you can see, my target value of 27,000 is achieved. Now, our price for item 3 is 656.25. Here is the sample if I would like to use Gold Seek on a cell that has a formula. If I would like to change this total amount to 27,000 by changing the cell or the quantity of item 3, which is linked to S1. As you can see on this cell, it's in formula. So if I'm going to use goal seek, there set cell, the total amount, to value of 27,000 by changing cell quantity item 3, which is in formula. If I am going to click OK, there is a Microsoft error 
it says that cell must contain a value. If I really like to change the quantity but it's in formula, I have two options. It's either I'm going to change this cell to value or I'm going to look for the source of this cell. On this example, this is linked to S1D4. So, if I really like to change the quantity to reach my goal, I'm going to use Go C to value of 27,000. By changing cell, I'm going to S1 tab or the quantity for item 3, which is in value, not in formula. When I click OK, there, my quantity changes also from S1 to S2 and I reach my goal of 27,000. On this sample tree, I prepare a larger example for everyone to really understand the use of goal C. On this example, I use t-shirt sales. Here on this column, we have the shirt color, seven shirt colors, red, blue, green, purple, pink, silver, and black. And then I have here shirt sales for 2019 which is divided on four quarters. Quarter 1, quarter 2, quarter 3, quarter 4. I have under each quarters the quantity, the price, and the amount. And on the bottom part is the overall sales amount for each quarter. On this columns, quantity, this shows the summation of all the quantities of each quarters and on this column this shows also the summation of all the amounts so i have here the total quantity and the total amount for the whole 2019 sales on this column is the percentage meaning for this example we have the 19%, it's computed from the percentage of the total sales in terms of quantity of the red color shirt, which means the 1,365 pieces of red shirt is equivalent to 19% of the overall total sales in terms of quantity. So, we are going to practice goal C in this tabulation. What? If, here it goes, the what if analysis. Our first what if is if I would like to change this purple color shirt to become the 20% of the overall 2019 sales. The first question is what am I going to change to reach my goal of 20% for the purple shirt? On this example, the only values here are the quantity and the price. So these are the only columns that we may use on our goal 6 by changing cell because other columns are already in formulas. So if I'm going to change the percentage of sales of purple shirt, the only possible columns to adjust are the quantity and the price. It's either I would like to change the quantity and the price of the other color shirts or or I'm going to change the quantity or the price of the purple shirt itself. On this sample, I'm going to use first in our by changing cell in our goal seek the quantity on the fourth quarter. So, I'm going to put my cursor and click the 9% since I would like to change the 9% to 20%, I'm going to perform goal seek here by performing the keyboard shortcuts Alt TG. There, set cell, there it is, 9% to value of 20%. By changing cell, I would like to change the quantity of the purple shirt in quarter 4 to reach 20% on the overall sales of purple shirt. If I'm going to click OK, as you can see, I already reached my target value of 20%. But in reality, there is no 1,023.19 quantity of shirts. So, this is just for the purpose of doing an example to use goal C here in Excel. But in reality, this should be a whole number, not a decimal number. What if I would like to change this percentage from 9% to 20% but I would like to change all the quantities? 
I'm going to equally distribute a certain percentage on each quantities for me to reach the 20% goal of sales for the purple shirt. So, remember my first sample where I multiply all these quantities to a certain single cell. So, I'm going to put this color here for me to remember where is that single cell so i'm going to change all of these values to formulas they should multiply to that single cell there now i'm going to perform goal c i'm going to click this cell i'm going to perform goal seek by clicking the keyboard shortcuts alt T G. set cell p8 to value of 20 percent by changing this purple one And there, I reach my target value of 20% and I properly distribute on the quantities this multiplier. And take note again, in reality, there is no 0.49 or 0.46 quantity of shirts. It should be a whole number. But we can also correct it by using formula of round. I am going to use this formula for me to get a whole number on the quantity. It says here that I'm going to put first the formula or the value and then on the second part after I put the comma, the number of digits. So I'm going to round it to zero number of digits means I want a whole number. And there, as you can see, I reach my goal of 20% with my quantities in whole numbers. There are no more decimal. And there you go. I hope you understand now the use of goal seek in Microsoft Excel and I encourage you to practice this on your own because when I also use goal seek first time, I was a little bit confused on what am I going to input in by changing cell. So it takes a lot of practice for you to really understand and once you understand this and use this frequently it's easy for you to use it every day again guys thank you for watching this video and i hope you give this a thumbs up and don't forget to click the subscribe button and click the ring notification bell button for more videos thank you and god bless everyone stay safe